Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our day number 100. Day number 100 for the last 15 days, starting from day number 86. We've been learning how to solve linear equations. Today is our very last day on the topic. Starting from tomorrow, from day number 101, over the next 100 days, from day number 101 through day 200, we're going to do word problems. We're going to do word problems, 100 word problems, starting from tomorrow. Let's see what we have for today. We have a linear equation, obviously, and we have to solve it. Obviously, there is the equation. It looks kind of nasty. 5 fourth x plus 1 plus 3 halves x minus 1 minus 4 fifth x plus 3 equals x plus 4. I'm going to read this to you one more time. I'm going to read it to you and then I want you to pause the video. I want, to solve, I want you to solve the equation yourself. Once you have the answer, you can resume the video and compare the answer, the work that you have done with the work that you and I are going to do together. So here's, here's the problem. 5 fourth x plus 1 plus 3 halves x minus 1 minus 4 fifth x plus 3 equals we are told that this quantity on the left hand side equals x plus 4. The question simply is what value of x will satisfy this equation? So pause the video, do what you have to do and resume it. Very good. Let's see what we have here. Well, the very first thing, first thing first, very first thing we realize is that we have a denominator of 4 here. We have a denominator of 2 here in the second term. We have a denominator of 5 here. And finally, in the last term, on the, on the right hand side, we have x plus 4 with a denominator of 1. They all have different denominator. That won't do. That won't do. We must have common denominator. We must have same denominator. So what is the common denominator of 4 and 2 and 5? That will be 4 times 5. 20. Because 20 we can divide evenly into 4. 20 we can divide evenly into 2. And 20 we can divide evenly into 5. So 20 is the common denominator. The, qu the question is, how do we go about converting this denominator of 4 into 20? The answer is very simple. Multiply it by 5. Multiply the top and the bottom by 5. How do we convert this denominator of 2 into 20? Well, multiply the top and the bottom by 10. Voila. How do we convert this denominator of 5 into 20? Multiply the top and the bottom by 4. And finally, how do we convert this denominator of 1 into 20? Well, Multiply the top and the bottom by 20. Voila, that's it. Now everything has a denominator of 20. Four, 5 times 4 is 20. 10 times 2 is 20. 4 times 5 is 20. And 20 times 1 is 20. Every single term throughout the entire equation has the same denominator. Therefore, that denominator no longer plays any role. It has lost its significance. Do you understand? It has lost its significance. For example, for example, would you agree that 180 over 20 minus 60 over 20, 180 over 20, 18 times divided by 2 is 9. So this is 9, this is 3. 60 divided by 20 is 3. 9 minus 3, would you agree that that equals 6? Of course you would agree. Why wouldn't you? It's, it's a valid equation. 
is true, that statement is true. But the problem is, here we have a denominator of 20, here we have a denominator of 20, but here we have a denominator of only 1. How do I make this denominator, how do I convert this denominator into 20? Multiply top and the bottom by 20. Now, we have the same denominator throughout the entire equation. Here we have a 20, here we have a 20, and here we have 1 times 20 in this term here. We have the same denominator throughout the entire equation. That 20 no longer plays any role. So 1 20th of something equals 1 20th of something else. Listen carefully. If 1 20th of something equals 1 20th of something else, then that something must equal that something. The 20 plays no role. We can ignore it. We can ignore it. Watch. The equation will still be valid. 180 minus 60 equals 6 times 20 equals 6 times 20. 180 minus 60 equals 6 times 20. The 20 at the bottom plays no role. Same thing is going on here. 20 no longer plays any role in the bottom. We'll just ignore it. So now we have 5 times 5, which is 25, times x plus 1. We have 10 times 3, which is 30, times x minus 1. Then we have 4 times 4, with a minus sign here. 4 times 4 is 16, times x plus 3. And on this side, we have 20 times x plus 4. Let's do our thing now. Let's open the parentheses. 25 times x is 25x. 25, 25 times 1 is 25. Thirty times x is thirty x. Up, oh, this is a positive thirty, and here we have a negative thirty. A negative negative one and a positive thirty. Positive times negative is going to give us negative. Thirty times one is thirty. Then we have a negative sixteen. A negative sixteen multi multiplied by positive one. So negative 16 times x is going to give us negative 16x and then negative 3 times positive negative 16 times positive 3 16 times 3 but we know that 15 times 3 is 45 so 16 times 3 must be 48 with a negative sign and then finally we have 20 times x which is 20x and 20 times 4 which is 80. Now we have to combine all the like terms, all the like terms. So we have 25x, we have 30x, we have a negative 16x. What should we do it? Let's do it, let's do it at the bottom here. So positive 25 and positive 30. A positive 25 and a positive 30 will give us a positive 55 and then a negative 16. 15 minus 6 is 9, 4 minus 1 is 3, so we get a positive 39. So this plus this plus this gives us positive 39. Positive 39x. Now let's do the numbers. Let's do the numbers. We have a positive 25. We have a negative 30, which is a negative 5 so far. And then we have a negative 48. 5 plus 8 is 3, so it's negative 53. And that equals this side right here 20x plus. 80. Now, let's see where should we bring what? This 20, 20 is a smaller coefficient than this one, so if we were to bring this here, it will still have a positive coefficient because we'll end up 39 minus 20. 
So let's subtract 20x from both sides. And let's bring this 53, let's bring this 53 on that side by adding 53 to both sides. Positive 39 and a negative 20 will give us a positive 19. Positive 19x equals a negative 53 and a positive 53, they cancel out. And then a positive 20x, positive 20x, and a negative 20x is going to cancel out. And here we'll end up with 3, 8 plus 5 is 13. I'm going to erase all the extra part that we have here. I'm going to erase all of this thing, we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to bring this closer so that they're not that far apart. 19x equals 133. Now we need to get rid of now we need to get rid of this 19. Divide both sides of the equation by divide both sides of the equation by 19. Let me take care of this part. And whatever that is, 133 over 19, that's our answer. Let's find out what that is. Well, had this been 20, I'm just I'm just speculating here, had this been 20 instead of 19, this is around 120. 120, how many 20s in 120? Well, there are 5 20s in 100, so there must be 6 20s in 120. Now, there are two things going on. First of all, this is not 120, this is 133, which is much larger, and this is not 20, this is 19, this is lower. So there are already six. Let's try seven. Let's try 19 times seven, see what happens. 19 times seven. We know it's not six times. We know it's not six times 19, because six times 20, six times 20 would be 120. We are already up to 133. Let's multiply it by nine, seven. 19 times seven, nine six is 63. This is already a good sign, because we're getting three in the unit place. Nine sevens are 63. And how do I know that nine sevens are 63? Because I know that 10 sevens are 70. If 10 sevens are 70, you take away 1 seven, it's 63. 3 and 6. 7, one, seven, one seven is a 7. 7 plus 6 is 13. What do you know? 13. This equals 7. So our x equals 7. That's our final answer. That's our final answer. But we're not quite done yet because we have to make sure that that answer is in fact the, the right answer and not a boo-boo. And how do we go about making sure that it is not a boo-boo? We plug in this value of x in our original equation and see if it works. If it satisfies the original equation, everything is fine. We need to do that. We need to verify our answer. Let's do it. In order to verify our answer, it will be much easier for us to work with the equation in its original form, the way it was given to us. Let's take out all of this extra stuff that we inserted. Take it all out. We don't need any of this. We don't need any of this stuff. We don't need this part. Let's start with this side. This is x plus 4. x we know is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11 which tells us that this side, whatever it is, better boils down to 11. It's 11. x plus 7, x is 7 we said, we are claiming that x is 7. If that is in fact the case, then 7 plus 4 must be 11. All of this has to add up to 11. Let's see what it is. x is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8, aha! So we have, let's put it in a different color. So here what we have is 5 fourth, 5 fourth times 8. 5 fourth times 8, this 4 cancels out with this 8, 5 times 2 is 10. This whole quantity boils down to 10. Aha, this is interesting. This is interesting because if this is 10, then this plus this must, have, must add up to 1 because the whole thing has to be 11. x is 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. 7 minus 1 is 6. 6 times 3 is... 6 times 
7 minus 1 is 6, 6 times 3 is 18, 18 divided by 2 is 9, oh this is, the plot is thickening, this is 9, we are up to 19, this bloody thing has to be 11, so what number minus, uh, what no, 19 minus what number would equal 11, 8, this better be 8, this, is, this already has a negative sign which is a good, good sign, let's put in here, x equals 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, so what we have is 4 fifth of 10, 4 fifth, I'm going to do it here, let's erase this arrow so I have the room, 4 fifth of 10, aha, 4, 4 times 2 is 8, voila, so what we have is 10 plus a 9 which is 19 minus 8, 19 minus 8 will give us the 11 that we need. It works. It works. We have finally arrived. We have finally arrived at our destination. Well, not quite at our destination. Halfway through our destination. Day number 100. I'm looking at the calendar here to figure out what day it is today. Today, as I tape this video, it's October the 27th, 2011. October the 27th. I started this project on October the 4th and I was hoping to finish this thing in 20 days, 5 videos per day. It took me a little bit more than 20 days, but that's okay. Starting from tomorrow, we'll do the word problem, day number 101 through 200. And that will be the second half of our semester, if you will. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you did all the problems with me. You must do all the problems with me. You must do all the work with me. As I said on the very first day of the, of the course, if you want to learn the algebra, this is the only way. Alright? I'll see you tomorrow on day number 101. Bye now.